Welcome back to Tea Time with Terry Ann. I've come inside because today we're having what they are calling snow showers. And it's cold out there. And I don't like the cold and I enjoy watching the snow from the inside. So today, my tea, a warm cup of Bigelow peach tea with a little bit of French vanilla creamer added to it. Great way to warm up. I want to share something with you today that's been on my mind. One of the best studies that I think I've, I've been through is called Crash the Chatterbox. It's by Stephen Furtick. This one made such an impression on me and has really helped me to change some of the ways that I am able to deal with the negative voices in my head. Now, you may not believe this, but you know, there are days that I can be very self-conscious, very intimidated, frightened to go out and do anything. Because the voices in my head tell me that I can't and I believe them. Now, one of the things that really caught my attention in this video study was that Stephen didn't, he personalized the chatterbox. He personalized the negative voices that are up here. And he did this in an interview fashion by putting a face to the negative voices and he interviewed, he was being interviewed with these negative voices. Now it was personalized. Now it wasn't just something up here, I cannot see the volume gets louder. Now it's something that a face could be placed to that he could look at and say, no, I am not listening to this anymore. I've got, let's say sometimes I have a weird sense of humor. Now, one of the things that I did, I found a way to personalize my negative voices. How many of you are Star Trek fans? And if you are, you know what the term red shirt is. Now, Wikipedia says that a red shirt is a stock fiction character that soon after appearing on the scene will be killed off. Therefore, I went to my little stash of teddy bears. I found my Star Trek teddy bear dressed appropriately in a red shirt. See, there's this little Star Trek emblem. I named him Ensign Chatterbox. Ensign Chatterbox sits on my desk and he looks at me. When those negative voices start, I can look at him and say, no more. No, you are out of this scene. You are gone. And I turn him away from me. Now, I've told those voices to go away. I have addressed them personally. Yes, you're laughing at me, aren't you? It is funny. But that's one thing about this. That little bit of laughter, just that little smile that this creates in me, manages to give me the strength to face those negative voices, to turn down their volume, and to take away the control that they have on me. What in your life brings a little smile to your face? Cracks that veneer just enough that you can go ahead and tell your negative voices, go away. You are not in this scene. I would love to hear your comments. Make a note below. Let me know, how do you address your negative voices? And until next time, this is Terry Ann. Tea time with Terry Ann.